Sagittarians and welcome back to Soul Horoscope's weekly edition. I'm your host to the universe, Christopher Wataki. This week, the sponsor is yours truly. Right now, it's my March Madness sale. If you buy a one-hour reading, you'll get a free 30-minute follow-up. This will be during the Mercury retrograde period until April 4th, and you want to buy them while you can because I book up quickly. I actually have the last week in March open for those who have been waiting for a reading. So come on in. First come, first serve, but they book quickly. But it's a great price. So if you don't mind waiting till June, hop in anyways. Get it while you can. And and I want to remind you, come on down to our Facebook away from Facebook, soulgarden.me, an entire collective of enlightened souls just like yourself. We call them sprouts when they first show up, little sprouts, helping you grow your soul garden. We also have our writing staff and zodiac directors and office hours, all sorts of things to help you be your finest. In fact, David Hauser is our soul, uh, our Sagittarius writer. Uh, so come on down, and Mimi is the zodiac director. So we got some cool peeps. Just reach out if you need anything. We're here for you. Now, what are the Sagittarius working on? Well, home, family, and foundation. It is that energetic bed that we must uh, lie in. And for those of us who wish to walk the master's path, you must self-sustain your own nurturing. You cannot rely on the world uh, as a constant, surely when things go wrong. But overall, we must take care of ourselves. We must self-nurture. And the equation is set up with Neptune to where Sagittarius's who nurture themselves will receive their God energy. You almost need to make your home your temple. You can travel anywhere in the world, but you need one temple you call home and that you recharge your spiritual batteries. Uh, and that is what this month is about. Now, for those of you who've been watched over by the Guardian Agency, I've been sending out psychic with texts. And I want you to know that these are all leading up to something good. So just keep answering them. Take a note of the answer. It is important. I am going to watch over you and help you with a difficult decision around the corner. Just trust me. All right. Now we start off on Monday. Uranus ruled the day. My apologies for not being on the air. Mercury attacked my mouth, literally. Mercury went retrograde. Uranus ruled the day. That meant one final breakdown uh, when it came to self-nurturing. It might have been a little mini crisis you put yourself through in order to reach your own uh, self-nurturing. The moon was in Scorpio, so emotions were focused on the past, the karma, maybe a little poor me. You know, um, you know, sometimes Sagittarius has fallen into the mopey mode. They go from happy, happy to mopey, mm, very mopey. So this is definitely partly cloudy chance of huge mopiness on Monday. Mercury retrograde means you're maybe starting to think differently about something your heart wants or some secret came out about something your heart wants. You found out that he was married or she was married or uh, perhaps it was a creative project that fell apart. With Uranus uh, in Aries, you have to understand that your own relationship to your inner child is going to evolve in incredible ways and you just have to trust the universe when it takes away candy from your baby. That's because there's a bigger candy cane around the corner, but it's hard to see that way, especially in the first moment. So that's a possibility right now. Moving on to Tuesday, uh, it's more of a day of finally understanding what was that about. Mercury is retrograde and Mercury rules the day. So you are thinking differently with Mercury retrograde. What happens at a retrograde is the two sides of Gemini flip right? So your inner voice becomes your outer voice. Your outer voice becomes your inner voice. The devil's advocate becomes on this shoulder. You know, the angel and the devil switch, all that kind of, that angel devil is, is the old thinking of the two sides of the mind, the two sides of Gemini. You got your one way or the other way. Well, they flip sides and we look at our life from the inside out. Sometimes we go negative. Sometimes we don't. Depends on the individual soul. But today is a day of breakthrough. The moon will move into Sagittarius on Tuesday. So you will feel a pick me up. Emotions will, uh, you know, fuel the ego and and make you more passionate, more charismatic. Now remember, if you ever need any extra help, we do have help on Tuesdays and Thursdays called Office Hours. Our Soul Mart practitioners volunteer. This is their way of getting to know the public. 15 minute questions are answered. It is on public display and you do need a webcam, but it's fun. We have a chat room. It's a way to get to know your other sprouts. Come on down, Sagittarius, and hang out with us if you'd like. Now, Wednesday is the big day, the big holy shift. Look at this. It's like kryptonite between the planets. What it is is these three groups of planets all reach the perfect nine degrees, okay? Which is a master number if you don't know. This is where I think things will finally change for the better for those who see the light or seek the light. What it comes down to are three areas of change. The biggest is you being open to changing your life and lifestyle. 
lifestyle. So lifestyle is everything. Does it mean you have to give up traveling? No. Does it mean you have to give up uh, anything that you want? No. But it does mean you have to take it to the next level now. All right, and be open to taking the next level, which means you have to let go of the old level. I wouldn't be surprised if lifestyle is directly attuned to this whole month to take better care of yourself. You know, maybe you don't take good care of yourself and your lifestyle is not taking care of yourself. So your lifestyle needs to move forward. It's going to be the pushing force that brings all the fortune. That means you step away from the old credibility, the old self-esteem, the old reason why you were worthy. Okay, so you're going to have to step away from the old story of why you're worth something and take a risk on being worth something for a new reason. That's not fun and uh, you have to own it before the universe owns it. But the biggest part of it is Mars retrograde. You will likely have to go back on something you were planning in your career. You will likely have to reconsider an action you recently took. You may have started a project that's not going to work and you need to pull out now. Mars retrograde means you will most likely change your career path in order to move forward with the new lifestyle. And move forward with the new economy inside of you okay so be open to that be open <laughs> can't say it enough now for those of you who've signed up for our GA alert network I will be sending out alerts on this holy shift day of Wednesday you can still sign up by texting GA text me to the number right here on the screen uh, there's no cost except your own your normal text message uh, you know costs for your provider and we send out usually an advertisement something for soul mart just to pay for it so uh, it's a win-win solution come on up and we'll help you out on Wednesday we'll be there with you because it's a big day now on Thursday it's really a day of intuiting oh god do we do this is this right it's also a day of releasing on the one hand the moon will cross over Pluto so you're gonna have to let go of the old uh, self-esteem Okay, so any emotional ties to the old self-esteem, get rid of the used car tweed jacket. Throw it away. I don't care how attached you are to it. It's, it's a symbol of you being poor. Okay, so it's that sort of attachment you want to let go of. Uh, at the same time, you're also kind of intuiting in your own Zen temple. You know, you need to make a temple in your home, Sag, and you need to log in with your guides and make sure everything is cool with the higher self. So that's a big part of what Thursday is about. And you know, reconsidering some career decisions or actions. Time to get moving on that right away. On Friday, Friday we actually uh, are gonna commit. It's time to commit. What are you committing to on Friday? You are committing to the new way of pampering yourself, the new home, the new family, the new potting soil of your soul garden, the new uh, policy for how your home is your temple and you can travel anywhere in the world but you always return to your temple, okay? On this day, Uranus actually goes four degrees. Uh, the last time Uranus was four degrees, the stock market crash triggering a world depression. So now this stock market crash for you is happening in the house of inner child. So your inner child might have a total temper tantrum or a crash thinking it's not going to get what it wants. The truth is it was holding on to a certain ideal that wasn't possible and the universe actually has a bigger present for you if you let go of the tiny one. All right. So if you're having that struggle, that's what it's about. We'll talk more about it. The moon is still focused on soul capital, self-esteem, etc. on Friday. Good business day on Friday if you need to get some business done. Don't forget we have SG Live on Fridays, live with Soul, uh, with myself and Carolyn Nagel. This is our live webcam radio show. We've been diving into the topic of developing your own psychic awareness, and we'll have the fourth and final show on this topic uh, going live at 11 a.m. Pacific. They're also encoded and recorded, so if you want to check it out over the weekend, it's a good show. It's us talking and learning. It's good times. It's allow us to get deeper on our topics that I can't get in this 11 minute horse coop. Then on Saturday, Saturday things really move forward. Action rules the day. Mars rules the day. If you decided to do something about your home and family situation, put it into action on Saturn day. That's what you want to do. Uranus and Mercury actually reach that fourth degree. So if there's going to be a inner child tantrum, Saturday is a good day. It might happen. FYI. And this red line is what we call a square in classic astrology. It means that in order to move forward with the new family, the new foundation, the new uh, the new direction, you're going to have to let go of that, uh, that damn used car salesman suit and all fears attach to that old salesperson in you or that old value system in you. So letting go of it and fears of letting go of it because you know sometimes even what's not working is comfortable. That's part of it. The moon moves into Aquarius by this day so at least you're not feeling a lot of heaviness about uh, your self-esteem, but you are going to be a very pensive, very intellectual, good chat day, good day to get things off your chest on Saturday if you need to. Uh, scooting into Sunday, Sunday is a day of holding space, so it really is a day of kind of a, a good church day, good day to just be with yourself. This energy all coming to a head is going to reach a climax with inner child. That's part of the fun around the corner, uh, but you might be starting to feel it by Sunday. In other words, 
well, if I get my stuff in order at home, that means I might have more time to pursue certain dreams. You're going to see that by rearranging uh, your own support network for yourself, it only opens up opportunity, doesn't shut them down. So that's one of the realizations I might anticipate on Sunday. Okay, my archers, that's all I have for the seven-day forecast. Remember, you can get a free 30-minute reading uh, if you buy an hour right now at soulmart.me. Don't forget to come on down and hang out with David Hauser and all of our Sagittarius archers at the Mothership, and I will see you in seven days. Until then, live, love, be.